You know, a lot's been going on in the last couple of days. Uh, good things, actually, though. I mean, if you really look at the big picture, which uh, I don't think a lot of people look at, unfortunately, in this world anymore. But Elvis Presley, as you guys know in the room, because you guys follow, was awarded the Medal of Freedom by the President. Well deserved. Him and Babe Ruth and a lady named Miranda Allison all got an award. And Jack Soden was there to accept the award for Elvis Presley Enterprises. He is the CEO of Elvis Presley Enterprises, the number one guy over there. And business, you know, his business, and he accepted the award. And I have been on site after site after site after site today, reading the most ignorant stuff I've ever seen in my life. People attacking Priscilla, people attacking Lisa, about the fact that they weren't there. Now, with that said, do I think it would have been in their best interest, at least Lisa, to be there? Probably. Okay, but they had their reasons. Okay, I'm not going to begin to tell you those reasons, nor is anyone else going to know those reasons, because we don't know 100% their reasons why they didn't show up. Now, I will tell you that Priscilla was with Michael Bublé accepting his star on the Walk of Fame as a guest of his while that was going on. Now, some people are like, why were you out there with Michael Bublé when your ex-husband Elvis Presley was being honored. Here again, not saying that I agree or disagree, but this is not my reasons, it's their reason. Let's not forget that Michael Buble played a big part in helping Priscilla when they were on the Royal Philharmonic Orchestra album, and he recorded Fever with Elvis on that album. They're friends, okay? They're friends, so she was there to support her friend. She's there each and every day to support Elvis Presley, and whether we like it or not, we're not Priscilla, okay? And we don't have a right to question. I have an opinion, that's true, but we don't have a right. And I know that Billy Smith has been pissed that they didn't show up. Although Billy Smith was a very close cousin of Elvis's, a very close friend as well, Let's not forget that Billy Smith is also the same guy who started all this Elvis is Alive shit, okay? Because Billy Smith was at the funeral and made the doofus comment that Elvis in the coffin was an Elvis. No offense, Billy, but fuck off. Sorry. Okay, because if it wasn't for you, all these conspiracy theories going on wouldn't be going on. Okay? You're the main reason why they're going on. So let's not all act all innocent here. Okay? She didn't show up at an event. You started a whole trend of people believing Elvis is alive. So let's not go there. <laughs> I know Elvis loved you, man. He did. He, he, if he was here, he'd still love you, even though you did that. But you're not innocent. And maybe I'm a little harsh to say what I just did, and I apologize, but it pisses me off. Okay? And also, on top of all of this, because I'm reading all these comments at these different Elvis sites of these ignorant people, and ignorant is a word that means lack of knowledge. It doesn't mean you're stupid. It means you have lack of knowledge. And they're ignorant on these sites because they're dissing on Priscilla. That's one thing. Priscilla was Elvis ex-wife. Now keep in mind that Elvis wanted to get back with Priscilla near the end of his life. Okay? Wanted to get back with Priscilla at the end of his life. Okay? So it wasn't like he didn't love her. He was still friends with her all through his life, even till the end. Okay? He was friends with her. So, and, and she spent the last 40-some years now Supporting Elvis, being at events, helping with different albums, different movies, helping support the whole thing. So, <laughs> what more do you want? Okay, if it wasn't for her, there would be no Grace. And I was thinking about that today. 
because I was reading these comments, and I was commenting to a few people, so-called fans. Guys, think about it. Let's go back to 1977. Let me give you a history lesson, okay? 1977, Elvis Presley died. We all were there. We were there. We remember it was the saddest day. And I've been through all that, and it still breaks my heart to think about it each and every day. But in 1977, Graceland was there. Across the street was this little plaza. There was not a whole lot around that place. Okay? Elvis dies. Okay? He's gone. So now we got to figure out, Colonel Tom Parker's got to figure out how he's going to keep sucking money from the king. And literally, they get the courts to step in and kick us out and fire him. Two years later, Vernon passes away. In that time period, guys, Elvis, Elvis' estate, Graceland, was costing $500,000 a year just to maintain it, just to keep it up. Okay, Priscilla was in the, you know, show Dallas. She didn't make huge money. She wasn't that rich, guys. She didn't get that big of a sum of money at the divorce. Okay, she wasn't able to maintain Grayson. Had she not done what she done, which was get with a few partners and get with a few people and figure out what to do with Grayson, she decided to open it up to the public so they could maintain Graceland and keep Graceland and not have to sell it. Guys, do you realize that if she would have got rid of Graceland or sold it, everybody goes, Priscilla's out for the money. Priscilla is out for the money. She's out to get all the money she can. Guys, she could have sold Graceland. She could have sold all his cars, the Stutz Blackhawk, the pink Cadillac, the Gladys, it was her car, uh, the Jeep from Blue Hawaii, all the belongings in Graceland, all the memorabilia, all the movie, everything. She could have sold it all, man. It was in the will that Lisa got it when she was 21. She signed off until she was 25. But until she was 21, she wasn't in charge. Vernon was. Then Vernon passed away. Guess what? Priscilla now. It's hers. She had the rights to sell it, guys. If she was a money grubbing person like I've been reading about today, every day, from the haters, Okay? She would have sold it, pocketed a couple million dollars, and walked away. It's her ex-husband, after all. Who cares, right? Okay? No, she didn't do that. Guys, I want you to think long and hard about my next statement. If she had sold Graceland, some private citizen would have bought Graceland. I don't know if you guys have been to Memphis, Tennessee, where Graceland is located, but it's in a shithole. Sorry for leaving. I know you live in Memphis, but a lot of Memphis is a shithole. <laughs> I'm just saying. You know as well as anybody. Okay? It just is. Graceland would have probably fell into a very valuable property. It's, it's, in, it's in a location that could be made into a plaza. Hotels, ding, 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 what it is now. Hotels, um, retail establishments, malls. They would have sold those 13 acres to a developer. Graceland would be gone, guys. It wouldn't even be there now. This is 40-some years. Graceland fell into disrepair, and they would have tore it down. It wasn't made into a historical site until not that long ago. It wasn't that many. Forty years ago, it wasn't a historical site, guys. It would have been torn down eventually. There would be no Graceland. There would be no Lisa Marie's Plain. There would be no Hound Dog. There would be no complex. There would be no movie theater. There would be no restaurants. There would be nothing. Look at Michael Jackson's estate. What do you have? There's a family who fucked up, okay? The Jacksons. Neverland Ranch. What is it now? Okay? It's nothing. The, Pre the Presleys did it right, guys. So when I see people dissing on Priscilla, and God forbid dissing on Lisa Marie, she's not perfect. Neither is Priscilla. They're human. They're not perfect. That's for damn sure. We know that. There's nothing perfect about any one of us. 
We can't judge. Only one person can judge, and that sure as hell ain't me, and that sure as hell ain't you. Okay? <laughs> They're not perfect, but they sure as hell try, and they do the best they can. And they have Graceland there for you, the fans. They have the Lisa Marie. They got the they got the Hound Dog. They got all that complex for you guys, for me. We ought to thank our lucky stars that they thought through this, that they continue to. Hey, Lisa Marie is broke. Now, should she be broke? No, she shouldn't be broke. She got hundreds of millions of dollars, and she's broke. Is that her fault? Probably, maybe. I don't know. Can't tell you. That's not us, Hedge. But the fact of the matter is, she's broke. She could sell Graceland right now. She could sell everything there. But she chooses not to. Why? Because of you guys. And I'm still today reading stuff on Facebook, reading stuff on sites, and people are ripping on Lisa Marie. And these are Elvis sites ripping on Lisa Marie. Do you honestly think for a second that Elvis Presley would want his daughter being ripped on right now? And these people stand up and act like fans. And then the coup de grace of all of it is I got people saying that the president awarded this medal to Elvis Presley and Babe Ruth and you know or Miranda Addison, and he's racist on this because Elvis and Babe Ruth were white. Now, I don't care if you're black. I don't care if you're white. We've been through this. Elvis wasn't racist. Babe Ruth sure as hell wasn't racist. And guess what? He was the greatest baseball player of all time. I'm sorry. It's just a fact. Elvis, he was the greatest entertainer of all time. Okay? Didn't steal rock and roll music. He created it. He, he put it together. He was the big bang of rock and roll music. I said that about 15 years ago in this room. Or not this room. I said it 10 years ago in this room, and I've said it 15, 20 years ago before I was in this room. He's the big bang of rock and roll. To say he was awarded this because a racist, get over yourself. And I'm not talking to you guys. I'm talking in general. I'm just on my soapbox right now because it pisses me off. Okay? Lisa is probably not in the country, but if she is in the country, she has her reasons. Priscilla was honoring a friend who honored Elvis. Okay? You guys and I, as big a fan as we are, and as much as I may know about Elvis, we're not in the position to question. We're in the position to honor Elvis Presley, the king of rock and roll. Billy Smith great cousin of Elvis's, one of the last people Elvis was with. I understand he's pissed off. I wish Lisa would have been there. I wish Priscilla would have been there. But the same people that are arguing one minute that Priscilla is a money grubbing hound and that she has nothing to do with Elvis and she should stay the hell away from Elvis are the same people today posting, why wasn't Priscilla there? Well, make up your mind, dumbass. Do you want her there or you don't want her there? Are you an Elvis fan and you want to go to Graceland? Well, guess what? Graceland wouldn't be there if it wasn't for this woman. <laughs> so please, at the end of the day, understand one thing. We are here for Elvis Presley. And to rip on his ex-wife, whom he loved, and wanted back at the end of his life, trust me, and his daughter, his only daughter, you're not an Elvis fan if you're doing that. And on the most honorable thing that he's had done to him in recent memory, getting a Freedom of Medal Award from the President of the United States, I don't care if you're a Republican, I don't care if you're a Democrat, I don't care if you like Trump, I don't care if you hate Trump. At the end of the day, he's the damn President of the United States. And Elvis Presley would honor that. You never knew he was Republican. You never knew he was Democrat. Did you guys know he was Democrat at one point? He was Republican at another? No, because he didn't make that known. And maybe, just maybe, they didn't show up because they didn't want to make that known either. So that's it, guys. Please, from here on out, if you're on one of them sites, please remember, he got a great honor. And all I'm seeing is all this negative shit. So please, start doing the positive. Thank you, President, for honoring 
Elvis Presley with this great honor. God bless you. God bless Elvis, and God bless this room, and God bless each and every one of you.